Hi everyone, my name is Julia and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these really cool Wizarding World frames. But first, I think I'm looking a little too much like a muggle. Much better, let's get started. So we're going to start with the wand frame. You're going to start by painting the entire frame brown. What I'm doing here is adding dots of brown around the frame and I'm also going to add some very small dots of black around the frame as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these with my paintbrush to create a wood grain kind of effect. So for this next part, we're going to be making the little wands that go in the center of the frame. So for these, what I did was I took a few chopsticks and cut them in half um, down to size so that they would fit in the middle part. Then what I did is I heated up my hot glue gun, and what I do is I put the hot glue on the, on the chopstick itself while swirling it, sort of to create a wand pattern. And for each of the wands, I did an individual pattern, just like how all the wands are different. Next, I'm going to paint the wands in a similar way that I did for the frame, so mixing brown and black and just painting over all of the hot glue. After that, I seal the ones using a glossy water-based sealer in order to give them a nice shine. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gold paint and create sort of an antique effect by lightly brushing it onto the ones. After that, I made a handful of full-size ones using full-size chopsticks. These are for the long part. Then I assembled all of the chopsticks onto the frame and hot glued them into place. Next, we're going to start on our Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans frame. For this one, you're going to need a wooden frame just like before, some multicolor paints in the colors that you want to paint your beans, some sealer, some air dry clay, and I think that's it. So what you're going to do is take out the glass pane of your frame, I'm going to move these aside and take out the robin's egg blue paint, that's the signature color for honeydukes. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire frame in that blue color. Next I'm going to go ahead and get my air dry clay and pull out a good amount of it. Um, once I have that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling the clay into little jelly beans. So what you're going to want to do is pinch off a pretty small size amount, sort of like jelly bean size, and roll that into a little ball. And then what you're going to do is sort of squish it so that it looks a bit like a kidney bean or a jelly bean, what it's supposed to be and you're going to go ahead and make enough of those to cover the frame. And with this being air dry clay, you let it dry for a few hours before it's ready to paint. So now I'm going to paint the jelly beans. This part can get a little bit messy, so make sure to have plenty of paper towels nearby. 
I'm just going to divide the number of jelly beans that I have into the number of paints that I have. So for me, I had about five or six colors of paint. So I'm going to paint one fifth of, each, of the jelly beans each color. hot glue all the jelly beans onto the frame, arranging them in a pattern that I like. Next I paint the sealer all over the jelly beans to give them a realistic shine. that's it. So here's the final product with the photos inside. I think they turned out really cute and hope you make some yourself. Thanks for watching!